In a crime tracker alert tonight, police have charged two men with vandalizing graves in Lebanon. 31 year old Justin Elmer and 23 year old Jeremy Heaton are charged with vandalism for with worth more than $60,000. News 2's Nikki McGee spoke with families who say these arrests come as a sign of relief. Well, over the weekend, we've seen dozens of families show up to the Cedar Grove Cemetery to check on loved ones. And although two have been arrested, many families are still wanting to know why. But today at the cemetery, we saw two good Samaritans show up and do what they could to help. Aunt, aunts and uncles and their spouses. A lot of the men fought in the wars. Kayla Jarrett and Linda Harris arrived at the Cedar Grove Cemetery Sunday to discover nine of their loved ones' graves toppled over. And although two have now been arrested and charged with vandalism, Jarrett and Harris say they have more questions than answers. Just why would you? What did they get why? out of it? Yeah. And it's a crime that leaves behind a mixed bag of emotions. I just glad my husband's not alive. Oh, he'd be mad. My daddy would said every cuss word known to man if he could have seen all this. Tonight, family members say these graves are irreplaceable, and there are a few things that could be done to make up for this crime. Put them to work out here, either digging graves, fixing these, cleaning it up out here. Make them get out They're the, the ones hot, that did it. Hot they sun it. and all and yes. work and all to restore what they did. But one glimmer of hope showed up Sunday afternoon. Two men wanting to restore what they could by lifting graves back onto their bases. We came through and I, I we instantly jumped out of the car. I said I can't do it. So we got out and started picking them up. They hope to restore some sense of justice to those who fell victim to this crime. This is where they're supposed to be able to lay and rest, you know, in peace. And this is not peaceful. This is not peaceful, so like, you're in my prayers, uh, yeah. As for Jarrett and Harris, they hope those responsible might one day understand the weight of their actions. It's a shock, and it's really sad. I mean, yeah. I know it's, it's just stone, but it's a memorial marker for where family is buried. And when you don't have a whole lot of family left, this is all you have left. We reached out to cemetery managers to ask what families should do if their loved one's grade was knocked over. They want anyone affected by this crime to call their front office, and they say they'll be able to guide you on what next steps to take. Allie.